Yes. It's still. But you can't be any geek off the street. You gotta be handy with the steel if you know what I mean. Keep it real. Keep it real. Keeping it real. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Steven and this is Steel Keeping It Real. So you know what today is. I am Elmer J. Fudd, millionaire. I own a mansion and a yacht. Again, I am Elmer J. Fudd, millionaire. I own a mansion and a yacht. That's right. It is Yacht Rock Wednesday. And on this day, I like to do adult contemporary hits from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s. And they are normally of a Caucasian persuasion. Now, I'm getting to doing these a little later, so I'm going to try to do these as quickly as possible. But I'm still going to have the quality that you guys are uh, deserving and used to. That boy is good. Mm -hmm. So this first song, I actually was going to do a year ago, back in February, but something that was like, eh, I don't know if y'all are ready for this. And that's, you're talking also about maybe a thousand or more subscribers less than I have right now. So maybe it was a right decision. So the person that I'm going to do is Donnie Osmond. Now, if you already saw this thumbnail, you're not surprised, but if you didn't see the thumbnail and you're seeing that I'm doing Dottie Osman, I'm sure you're going, God damn it, are you fucking with me? And no, I am not. And so let's hear me out. Let's hear me out. So if you are my age, you are aware of who Donnie Osman was. You had to watch him every week with your parents on the on the Osman variety show and hearing this every single week. I'm a little bit country. And watching them do these cheesy little skits and things like that, even where they did Star Wars, where Donnie played Luke and Marie played Leia and Chris Christopherson played Han Solo. You gotta see that one. But, you know, throughout all that, you know, the Osmonds were pretty popular and Donnie was like a teen heartthrob and had a couple of hits, you know, back in the 70s. And then all of a sudden, he kind of like disappeared and like that he's gone and his last album up until the song that i'm going to do was in 1977. so you fast forward to 1989 and donny osmond has produced some new music and you know one of the things that Donnie Osmond was told by Michael Jackson back in like 1982 uh, before Thriller came out was that, dude, you, you kind of got to change your name because your, your, your name is Poison. You know, everybody thinks of you as this clean cut, squeaky clean, you know, big smile family, you know, Mormons that don't drink caffeine and don't drink alcohol and don't smoke and don't do all these other kind of things. You, you you can't try to put out a pop song now in the 80s and expect people to just forget about, you know, that Donny Osmond. You kind of got to change your name. So when, when this album came out in 1989, they put out the lead singer, Soldier of Love. Uh, they put that out there, but they didn't give the record companies the name of who the song was by. And the song became a hit. And everybody loved this song. And then all of a sudden, they were like, well, you know, that's Donny Osmond. And they're like, you gotta be fucking kidding. Yeah, it's, it's Donny Osmond. So it, the cat was out of the bag and his name, he didn't have to change his name. And then the follow-up single, to me, was even better than Soldier of Love. It wasn't as cheesy and trying to be like this nice pop hit. Uh, Soldier, uh, 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 Sacred Emotion, was the follow-up to Soldier of Love, and it was a it was a ballad. It had a saxophone solo in it by Dave Cause, 
And to me, I just found it to be a better, better song. Um, let's take a look at what this song did do on the charts and Balamo. It went to number four on the adult contemporary charts and it went to number 13 on the Billboard Hot 100. And that's pretty good considering, again, he hadn't put out an album in over 12 years. So a lot of you also would say like, well, why the fuck should I care about Donny Osmond? Yeah. Well, the thing is that, you know, he won on Dancing with the Stars not too long ago. Even if it is a decade ago, he still won on Dancing with the Stars. He was runner-up on The Masked Singer. And then somewhere around the, the 2000s, he was in a very popular music video. And that was Weird Al Yankovic's White and Nerdy. White and Nerdy, I just too white and nerdy. Can't you see I'm white and nerdy? Look at me, I'm white and nerdy. Now, for those of you who are my age or even older who saw that video and saw Donny Osmond, that made the video almost even funnier in our minds because here was this guy who was really the, you know, the who we considered to be white and nerdy, and that was Donny Osmond, you know, as clean cut as he was and singing all this, you know, safe music and, you know, non sec you know, he was the epitome of white and nerdy. So it just made that even more funny. And seeing him dancing and clowning around, it showed that Donny Osmond had, had, you know, he was a good sport about everything. And throughout all the trials and tribulations that he's had, He's always had, you know, he's always stayed himself. He's always stayed, you know, kind person, gentle person, things of that nature. So, if you like videos like this and others on the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification button, because I'm trying to do at least 10 videos each and every week. So, without any further ado, here is Donny Osmond and Sacred Emotion. Thank you. Every day of my walking. Every day I was waiting. Longing. Longing to see your face.
song back in the day and that like you know in that time frame you know it was again once you knew it was Donny Osmond you're like you know what I, I, I give up you know I, I, I gotta give him props because you know I never the only time I ever listened to Donny Osmond prior to this was because I had to on the TV show but other than that I wasn't buying Puppy Love or any of those other songs or even Marie's you know Paper Roses or whatever and my family wasn't buying any of their albums and nobody I knew actually was listening to their songs not around me you know maybe some of the teenagers or uh, uh, girls were listening to them but you know by the time I was a teenager, uh, let me see, because 77, I wouldn't have been a teenager. I didn't become a teenager until like 1982 is probably when I became a teenager. So by that time frame, you know, there were no Tiger Beats or anything like that with Donny Osmond on it or Team Beat. No, he was done by then, but yeah, it is what it is. So... If you are still here, I thank you very much for staying tuned. I really do appreciate it. First and foremost, I want you guys to like the videos as much as I like making them for you. After that, all you need to do to help me out with the channel is to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Peace.